Welcome back to Jack Sports TV. My name is Damian Bell. Hey, this show is brought to you by the fine people of Vegas Showgirls. And when I say fine people, boy, do I mean fine. You got to go see for yourself, though. Baseball is in session. We're almost three weeks in. And are you enjoying what you're seeing so far? The lords of baseball have gotten a big break with the weather, opening up ballparks in northern cities where they used to see in snow or slush or grime. And they're getting springtime like weather. Spring weather in the spring in the Northeast. I mean, even in Minnesota, the land of a thousand or ten thousand lakes, not frozen lakes, you know, bees and stuff flying around when the twins are playing baseball outside. Got a big break with that. And I mean, even this week with uh, New York City having 85 degree temperatures, watching the Yankees do their thing, everybody's happy right now. This week may be a different story. You're dealing with rain now and cold weather and real April weather in the Northeast and, you know, everything's going quite fine. Not too many rain outs so far and some great baseball. The focus on baseball right now is in the AL East where three of the best four teams in Major League Baseball are in one division. Everybody's used to the Yankees and the Red Sox. I mean, they started off the season on national TV and got a great long game. But the upstart Tampa Bay Rays are trying to prove that last year wasn't a fluke and the year before wasn't a fluke, that they are for real. And they're proving it so far. They're fresh off the sweep right now of the vaunted Boston Red Sox. And when you're one of the three of the best four teams in baseball and you sweep one of the best teams in baseball, oh, that's cause to be very, very excited. You should be excited if you're a Rays fan. You should be excited if you're not a Rays fan because you've got a team that's ready to knock off the big ugly teams in the Northeast, namely the Yankees and the Red Sox. The Red Sox, they're showing their age right now. Maybe they did over the weekend. The Yankees' business as usual. They're easily one of the older teams in baseball right now, but they're 10-3. and three. They're rolling. Their pitching is strong. Their offense is there. Everything is clicking right now for the Yanks. Not so much for the Red Sox. They're hot and cold. They still have their timely hitting. Their pitching is still strong. But when you've got a team that can come in and score five to seven runs every game without a bunch of high batting averages, you got something working. And that's something the Rays have right now. The whole bottom of the Rays batting weather is at 250 or below, but they're hitting timely, getting great pitching. Everything is clicking right now. And Joe Madden, He's making all the right calls. So I just talked about the top three teams in the AL East. I haven't talked about Toronto, who's quietly always in the mix. And Baltimore, they actually have a pitching staff this year that's making some things happen. So right now, we might have a five-team race in the AL East, the first real top-to-bottom division race in baseball. And when I say top-to-bottom, I don't mean that garbage in the NL West where teams hang around 500 all year and then somebody decides to win a couple of series and take the division. And the NL West isn't looking that bad right now either. Going from the ALS East to the NL West, you've got teams like the Giants, whose pitching has finally come around, Lincecum and Kane dominating, taking teams out easily. You've got the Rockies, who got a no-hitter in Colorado. If it don't snow this month in Colorado, something's wrong. A no-hitter at Coors Field. They got it done. And they're actually hitting. You got the Dodgers coming around. And you know, they've got the big stars in Hollywood that have quietly gone about their business but they're fighting off a hard charge from the Giants. You've got the Rockies playing good baseball. You've got Cincinnati. Not too bad right now. Volquez will be out for 50 games for his steroids. We wondered why he was so good so soon. Well, we might have an answer on that right now. And that's still the NL Central. St. Louis kind of treading water right now. They look strong with Pujols and company, but after that snore fest they had with the Mets, 20 innings and only one run, that's too much lack of production for a team with as many big bats, Matt Holiday in the middle, Pujols in the middle, and everything that they have. But they'll get that figured out, and the pitching is still strong. When you can go 20-plus innings and only give up two runs and sacrifice flies, you're doing something right. So you got something happening in the NL Central, NL West. Of course, the NL East is Phillies to lose until the Mets and the Braves wake up, and that's Four of the divisions I've already talked about. Didn't talk about the AL West. Didn't talk about the AL Central. And we've got time because until they do something, we'll have something to work with. But for right now, we're not a, even a month into baseball, and we've got some meaningful division races like you should have. You know, the boys of summer are here. They're getting it done in the spring. Fans are excited. You got new venues to go to. Great weather so far. Get out and see your favorite team. Hey, we're going to a break right now, but when we come back, we're talking more sports, more of your favorites here on Jack Sports TV. Hey, come join us. We're on the web, jacksportstv.com, brought to you by Vegas Showgirls.